Okay, time for the problem, the uh, flow chart. As you can see, I've also did the same thing again. I have put all these into assignments. I have taken the four inputs and put them into four different inputs. Um, you know, what I, I didn't do is so we want to make sure you always do the more and this is going to be what is the home value question mark close quote all right you just want to make sure that you put those prompts in there okay i made sure each there and also i noticed um prime residence um we had that as prime home so I changed that to prime residence and also I forgot to put it up here with input and now it is up there so those are the changes um, a lot of times you don't notice those changes to do it in the flow chart and that's one of the, the benefits of the flow chart being able to do that all right so what are we going to need to do we need to figure out what decisions to make in what order so let's start with this one first uh, disabled equals yes since that's the first one. So we will go ahead and make a decision. If that's true, then we're going to have this assignment. And that is this exemption, control C, control V, and exemption, control C. Control V. Okay, so that is the first thing that we need to do. Now, the other thing that we need to do in order to be able to do this math, tax owed, is we're also going to have to do this decision down here. Uh, not that one. There we go. So uh, let's do this one next. Control C. And. Uh, decision whoops control V and then we'll do this one next so sometimes we have to build a little bit more before we test Okay, so let's take a look at Okay, so here is a $300,000 house that is disabled and they have their So let's go ahead and see if this works Okay, their home value is 300,000 They're disabled is yes. Active duty doesn't make a difference, so I'm just going to put a number there. Age doesn't make a difference yet, so we'll just put that there. Is this your primary home? That is important, so we have to say yes. And our home value is 300, and you can see that matches here. Our exemption is 75,000, so that matches. Our tax value is 225 so tax value is not working and that's because we don't have that math and tax rate is correct and of course that's wrong all right so and that's because um we're missing this right here so let's go ahead and put this in control c control v Control C, Control V. All right, then we'll just go on them one more time. 300,000. Yes. And then doesn't matter, doesn't matter. And then yes. 300,000, exemption. Now we have a tax value and we have a 4%. And we owe 9,000, so let's just make sure that that matches up, and it does. So you can see that 
we have made one path. So the next path, they're not disabled. Let's see, let's do test number three next. Uh, and that's the military. Let's see, because this one is uh, what happens if uh, the, the exemption is not right. So we'll do test three uh, next. So that's going to be military. And actually, we can we can do. So the next thing we need to do is um, age. So let's do that. And age cold off control c actually no that's not what i'm going to do what am i going to do is i'm going to copy this and paste it over here and then i'm going to paste over this control v and the only thing i have to do is change the exemption from the dis to the age so doing that copying and pasting works a lot better. Now, I don't even have a test for the old age cutoff except for the doesn't have any value. So let's do this. Let's test it. Let's do um, 100,000. Disability is no. Uh, active duty is no not that that matters i could put a nine in there and what is your age we want to give them the cutoff so they're 100 years old and we're going to say that yes this is the primary hold home so home value is 100,000. exemption is 50. we still know that is true from our and then 100 minus 50 is 50 and then four percent of 50 is 2000 all right so we can see that that works so let's go ahead and do our military then so i'm just going to copy this paste this over here and then i'm going to change this to the military and then change this to military. Okay, and let's go ahead now and I think we can use this. So let's go ahead and run it. Uh, what is your what is the home value? And the home value is um, 200,000. Are you disabled? No. Um, are you of active duty? Yes. What is your age? Was it 35? Is this your primary home? No. So 200,000, 20,000, 180. Ah, tax rate six. That's not right and tax owed. So let's go see what the deal is. Oh, and that's because we haven't done this side, right? So build and test. We need to put this on this side. And let's see, not prime. There we go. And then we go ahead and test it again. Let's go back to our, and let's go ahead and run it one more time. And this is why the build-in test is so important. Yeah, uh, no. Yes, 35, no. Okay, so now let's see if it works too. 20, 180, 6, 1080. So we can see that that's working also. So right now we have the basics of everything working. 
but we're missing some stuff. We can't run test two yet. In fact, let's go ahead and run test two and see what happens. So we have a $30,000 house. Disabled is, ah, uh, disabled is no. Um, military is no. Uh, prime residence, oh, age 75. And this is your primary, so I just say no. Let's see what happens. So 30,000 foam value, the exempt is $50,000. Now we got a negative 20,000, 6%. So we owe them 1,200 and we don't want that to happen. So the next thing we need to do is add in those decisions and start moving things around because we're asking questions that are kind of silly. But we're at 11 minutes, so I'm gonna stop this video and then we'll do a part two next.